My name is Samson Itodo. I'm the Executive Director of the Youth Initiative for Advocacy, Growth and Advancement, YAIGA. YAIGA is a civil society organization termed, perhaps can be regarded as a civic hub of citizens, especially young people, for promoting participatory democracy, public accountability. The only leadership recruitment process we have within our political process, or perhaps as a constitutional democracy, is elections. Elections are very, very critical for the survival of democracy. Um, and therefore, citizens ought to be involved in observing and monitoring the process. Um, first, to promote accountability and transparency. Second, to boost citizens' confidence in the electoral process. Citizens' observation or citizens' journalism is emerging as one critical area of um, civic engagement, as well as promoting electoral transparency or integrity. In 2015, beyond the 6,000 observers, we also worked with journalists um, and as well as citizens journalists, um, journalists who also work in media um, organizations. And we put them together into a network where we developed content partnerships for voter education, uh, as well as shared relevant information on, um, on election incidents, especially on election day. And so where there were incidences, where there, were, where there was violence, um, we ensured that um, the citizens, journalists, and our radio ambassadors, or those who were within our, our network, um, escalated the, the incidents and sought um, response from security agencies. In this era of digital disruption, um, media convergence is, is, is key. Because one thing technology and social media and new media has done is to promote that two-way communication stream that ordinarily traditional media wouldn't provide you that avenue to, um, be it television or, or even radio. And so social media has emerged uh, and is emerging, quite frankly, as a, as a tool for reaching out to citizens and citizens are able to also contribute and make inputs in the electoral um, in the electoral process so this convergence is very very key because where traditional media cannot reach social media has reached and in this era where democracy is under scrutiny citizens are beginning to assert themselves and take power um, and assert their sovereignty and social media has become a tool a very very unique tool that has empowered citizens to share information to send in reports and influence the character of governance so it's very very important and that's what we do our handle Yaga's twitter handle is one of the handles that the electoral commission monitors on election day because as we get reports from our citizens observers as well as our journalists we share them with INEC and then INEC looks at this information and then provides a response one classic example is the Kogi elections um, in the post-2015 uh, era. We were in a particular local government, in the Kina local government, that has got the highest number of registered voters. In a particular ward, there was late arrival of election materials, and there was also late distribution of election materials. We were there, I was there personally, and immediately we got to that particular ward and we observed um, what was happening. We shared the information with INEC, and INEC responded speedily that's what, new, uh, what the traditional media couldn't do. Uh, and if you see these days, even traditional media is integrating social media in, in their work. Um, you've got TV stations today who have social media platforms who actually rely on social media um, for news um, and uh, as well as promote activities, the same way um, radio um, stations are also doing. Um, and then you have online um, newspapers today um, that are easy to read. They are very, very cheap and they've got verifiable content. One of the key issues that we must talk about first is the guiding principles for citizens' observation. And one principle is integrity. Um, of course, professionalism. Uh, of course, transparency, openness, um, patriotism is. The bottom line is whatever we do as an individual or as a collective um, we do that for the good of the country i think the place of the common good is where it's lacking within our own system and process 
if I am blogging about a particular incident, if I'm observing an election, if I'm tweeting, if I'm posting videos, whatever I am doing, do I consider the common good of the whole generality of Nigerians or even Africans? I, I think that's a key question that we always ask our citizens observers, that whatever you do, you do it for the good of your country. But what we try to do is to ensure, first, if you get an information, what do you do? You have to verify um, the content before you actually escalate. And that's what we do in our situation. Before we escalate any incident, we verify the content. And we have, so you've got citizens journalists, you've got citizens observers who are right there at the polling station. And when we get the reports, we call our partner organizations, we call our observers to verify. Is this really happening in that particular location where this report is coming from? Because this is a sector that is emerging. There are conversations around how do we build um, our own code of ethics. And I think that the approach the Electoral Commission should adopt is to build a network of citizens observers that can keep watch over the electoral process and get their reports and use those reports for planning for elections. All you need to do is to identify these people and build strong partnerships with them. If we come from the, the, the perspective of providing support um, to the Electoral Commission, then you, can, you would record a huge success in your work because election is a multi-stakeholder enterprise. We all have roles to play. So play your own role. Provide the kind of support you can provide to help the Electoral Commission's work. That way, you build mutual trust. You also build confidence in the Electoral Commission to work with you freely because we've got a culture where our state institutions are very, very reluctant to work with civil society. The second, or the third rather, is to build strong alliances, build surprising alliances with different stakeholders in the electoral, um, in the electoral process. The fourth is to engage citizens. Citizens on their part should not abdicate their role of keeping watch over the process to civil society organizations. In the same vein, civil society organizations must also ensure that they engage citizens in the entire process of election observations. For us in Yaga, we consider young people as energetic, we consider them as innovative, we consider them as resilient, and they are critical stakeholders in the political process. Africa can rise. Africa is rising. But the only way Africa can rise and rise to its full potential is if it promotes inclusivity in its political process.